Hello, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you for tuning in with me today. I appreciate you. In today's video, I want to share with you how I go about selecting tattoo needles for tattoos that I do. As you can see, we have a pretty dynamic design right here that has different textures and line weights. By the end of this video, you'll have a good understanding as to why I go about selecting the different tattoo needles that I do to accomplish my tattoos. Be sure to stick around for the entire video so that way you get a good grasp and understanding as to how I go about doing that. Now, if you have any questions at any point throughout this video, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my best to assist you in the best possible direction. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring that bell for me as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as this YouTube channel. I would truly appreciate your support over there as well. If you enjoy my channel and find my content helpful, consider becoming a Patreon or sending over a super thanks as I would truly appreciate your support. With that being said, let's dive straight on into this. I'm going to make a needle graph here with you all. I'm going to draw a point of interest and I'm going to take them to the needles and I'm going to explain and touch base on why I'm selecting specific needles for different areas here. Starting with the bottom right here, I'm going to start with these textures right here. So I'm just going to connect a line and then I'm going to run it to the needles that are of interest here. So right here in this area, we have different round mags and we also have a straight mag. I want you to know that when you're selecting tattoo needles, it would I would encourage you rather to select needles that feel comfortable to you. Select needles that you can anticipate the results. So for these textures right here on this animal right here, these are going to be mags and round mags. I'm not trying to go for best penmanship, but what I am trying to do is get my points across here. If we take a close up look here at this design, we'll notice that there are textures all throughout this area right here. So we're not necessarily gonna line this and fill this in black. I would prefer to use a mag, so that way I do get that textured animal for effect there. And to do that, I'm gonna be using different round mags. So for tighter areas such as these right here, I could choose to turn the mag if I want, or I can use a smaller round mag. That's going to be to each their own. Same thing with this area right here. We can use a small round mag should we choose to do so. You can see for these bigger areas, I would prefer to either go with like a 0013 round mag or a 00 just straight mag. And again, round mag or straight mag is going to be artist preference. This is going to be truly to each their own. So pick what is comfortable for you. So that's how I'm going to go about doing most of these textures here with a round mag or a straight mag however there are specialty needles as well and I'm gonna to go to this side over here and these are ink claw specialty needles I will leave links for you in the description below so you can check out this gear on your end I'm going to also point that out though that we also have the option to select specialty needles if we choose to do so I'll touch base on those here in a little bit Now, forgive me if I'm misspelling these words here, but you get the idea. So specialty mags are typically, for example, these specialty mags are ink claw mags, and these consist of, let me show you right here. As you can see, we have five uh, bug pin, three round liners. So at the edge of this mag right here, there is five bug pin, three round liners right here, and this makes up a essentially a mag type of shape However, with five three round liners, it is different from a mag. For these special two mags, just to confirm, they do have one roll of needles where the mags right here have two. So that is something to consider. For these bolder lines that you do see throughout the tattoo, I'm going to probably using another specialty needle. There is multiple ways to go about achieving these really bold lines here. Let me create the point of interest here. So I'm gonna draw the line from here. And then we're going to box these needles in right around here. So here we have the bold lines and I'm going to be using a 45 round shader or the Ink Claw 88 domed round shader for these bold lines right there. That's going to be for all of the bold lines on the design. I'm choosing to go with a bigger line weight here so that way I can do smooth clean one pass the lines. However, if you don't have needles this size or you don't want to get needles this size, you could probably use a three round liner or the biggest line weight that you have and maybe double up on the lines 
using some sort of like good technical application that's also possible but for me since I want to just have these lines quick one pass I'm gonna be trying to go with the closest line weight to that actual line on the stencil now there are fine lines here as well so you can see there's some in here there's some right here I'm gonna use these two fine lines for the example I'm gonna connect them to these needles right here and for those fine lines right there, the needles that I selected would be a 003 round liner. This is a cool tattoo needle or even a 0503 round liner. That would probably be better off for like maybe stipple shading within the design here. However, for fine lines, you kind of get the idea. I'm even willing to use a standard five round liner and that one was up there, but I feel like this one could go in here as well. So the idea is you can kind of see that I'm trying to navigate to the lower side of the line weight spectrum to navigate or to best fit these lines right here but I'm also thinking about how comfortable I am with these specific needles that I'm choosing for that for now for this specific design at hand these are gonna be more than likely what I'm gonna be selecting for fine lines keep in mind if you want to use a standard nine round liner you can do so so to each their own there is no right or wrong when it comes to selecting tattoo needles just be sure that you're comfortable with what you're selecting and trying to get as close to the line weight as you can you can see those two fine lines right there I feel comfortable doing them with a 003 round liner. I feel comfortable using a bug pin 3 round liner as well as a standard 5 round liner long taper. Now that middle one right here, this one is a bit more advanced so I'm going to just stay away from that one right now. Probably never do 3 round liners with this small of a needle configuration just because I don't want to go too too small and cause damage to the skin or cause unwanted damage to the skin. So for me where I'm aiming at for these thicker lines right here is probably either this 3 round liner and or this standard 5 round liner long taper. I don't feel like either or is wrong. This is all going to be personal preference to each their own. I could also even change it up and put these lines right here with an 11 round liner and then I can do dot work with a three round liner as well. So you can kind of hear my thought process behind the approach. But as of right now, I'm, I do feel that a five round liner would be good, even a standard three round liner, either or would work well for all of these fine lines. And then I will get into dot work now. For me personally, when it comes to dot work, I like to have my dots real nice and fine. So I would select something like this quill 003 round liner, and I would put the dot work in these areas of the mandala designs right here I hope you can read my handwriting forgive me if it's not legible I apologize about that for the dot work and shading that I'm going to apply in these areas right here of the tattoo design I'm going to be using a quill 003 round liner. I feel very comfortable using this needle configuration right here to apply my stipple shading, my dot work to my tattoo. So I'm going to go with that personally. If you feel comfortable using a standard five round liner or a standard three round liner, I encourage you to use that as well. I will also use these quill or any 003 round liner for specific tight areas such as the eyes and tighter areas that I can implement textures into and maybe even in between in some certain areas. I like to be real precise with where I'm applying the ink and I can do that by using the 003 round liner for that as well. If you're struggling to figure out by eye what needle you need, feel free to open up your needle selection and Put them towards the fake skin. I would recommend doing so. You can see here is the Ink Claw 45 round shader. And this one may actually do the job and be just fine for these lines right here. Allow me to show you the Ink Claw 88 round shader. You can see here is 88 needles. And this one also would work. It'll be over the line just a little bit but it'll cover the entire line especially if we line it exactly as the stencil reads so either or you can't go wrong this is going to be a thicker line weight obviously however i think both of them would work for these lines right here and you can see that when we put the needle out they're pretty close in the ballpark range there so that's a good way that you can go about 
confirming if the line weight is going to work for your design or not. Feel free to repeat that process with different areas of your tattoo. So let's say for these tighter areas right here. If you weren't too sure if a standard five round mag would work in those areas, since we are practicing on fake skin, feel free to open up the needle and check out the needle versus the area that we need to tattoo. So for these tighter areas, I do feel like this mag would work well. You can see that the mags do have two rows of needles, so that's something to consider there, because when we swipe, we're more than likely gonna see both rows show up there. However, the sizing is right for these tighter areas, and you can see just putting it next to it that we'd be able to tattoo these areas right here. It's going to be the same thing, so let's say if I wanted to check out the textures over here for some reason, then we can open up the mag ahead of time. This is the Ink Claw Bug Pin 3 round liner five times at the end, and you can see that this one only has one roll of needles. That's why I favor these specialty mags when it comes to applying textures, because I can be real more precise. I can even turn it to the side right here and get into tight areas as you see me doing demonstrating right here. So that's why I enjoy using these Ink Claw Specialty Mags. It's gonna to be to each their own. Some may like these, some may not. You get the idea, but these would work well for these areas right here. For these thin lines right here, let's check out the police the cnc police standard five round liner long taper and i do feel like this one would be a good candidate for that line right there allow me to zoom in and demonstrate here so you can see when i put the line weight next to the design this one's actually pretty darn close so this one would work well for all of these fine lines throughout the tattoo that we see here and again this is the cnc standard five round liner long taper when I'm looking at this design, I'm looking at every aspect of it. I kind of read it like a book. So let's start up here. We can obviously see that we do have thicker lines throughout this entire tattoo. So I'm going to need a needle for those thicker lines. My selection is going to be one of these two, the Ink Claw 45 round shader or the 88 dome round shader. Either or I believe would get the job done. Now you can also see here that there is a bunch of fine lines under these thicker lines and they are also throughout the tattoo here. And for those, I'm going to be selecting either the double zero three round liner or the standard five round liner long taper. This all comes down to our capabilities and our experience. What do we feel comfortable using? Because I am selecting what I feel comfortable using here. So we have the thick lines, we have the fine lines. We also have textures throughout this entire tattoo here. So we are going to need to create animal textures here. And to do that, we can use round mags and or specialty mags as we see right here. The sizing would vary and again that comes down to selecting something that we feel comfortable with. You can see there are tighter areas right here and it may be more ideal to use a smaller size mag. You can see that there are also areas that are bigger so in that area we may want to use a larger mag and again that's going to be personal preference to each their own. We want to approach this to the best of our artistic ability and we also want to exercise making these choices along the way so that way we get more fluid with picking appropriate line weights for specific designs at hand. On this side I do have the specialty mags which would work for textures throughout the entire tattoo. Here I have three different ink claw needles. I have a bug pin three round liner times five so there's five three round liners on the edge of this mag it is one row which is awesome for specialty mags round mags and straight mags typically tend to come with two different rows and I also have a bug pin three round liner there's three of those on this needle tip right here and right here I have four three uh, standard three round liners at the end of this mag right here over here on the round mags and mags we have a standard five round mag for tighter areas it can be used for that I have a 0013 round mag and I also have a 0013 straight mag right here. And again, I got these needles here to kind of exhaust the line weights that I think this tattoo would best sit with. I'm sure that this would vary from artist to artist going back to using our artistic ability. I do see that there's bigger areas right here that I can use bigger round mags or a bigger mag in this area to kind of cover the area quicker with fewer passes and I would do that using a round mag, straight mag, or a specialty mag. Not only that, for the shading of the tattoo, I can use the three round liner but I can also use the specialty and mags 
for shading as well and I do want to shade and I want to add different tones in between these spaces here so these areas in the stencil are going to be the darkest and in between I want to add different tones to kind of give it more detail a little bit more realism so to speak I just want to add a little bit more texture is the overall go and I can do that with the round mags the straight mags the specialty mags and I can also accomplish the shading with these as well this right here is the needle selection that I do feel comfortable applying this entire tattoo I feel that this is is going to be more or less the ballpark range of what I am going to be using. Be sure to stick around, hit my subscribe button, and ring that bell. I will bring a full video of me tattooing this in real time so you can check out every move that I make to tattoo this tattoo right here. That'll be it for this one. If you have any questions at all, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on social medias. I do have social medias under the same name as this YouTube channel at Daniel Yuck. I would truly appreciate the support over there as well. If you found this video helpful and enjoy my content, consider becoming a Patreon or sending over a super thanks as I would truly appreciate your support. With that being said, I also appreciate your time. Thank you for tuning in. You have a great day.